Hey Aries, welcome to your love and partnership reading. We're gonna be getting some insight about you. We're gonna be getting some insight about your partner, uh, where you are presently, a little bit of insight on the foundation of your relationship and where you're going. So of course, you create your own future, take what resonates, leave the rest. These cards are not in charge of you, it's just paper. <laughs> Don't try to make it fit. Please hit the like button, please subscribe if this resonates shit even if it doesn't <laughs> uh no but it does really help the channel thank you so much so these have all been pre-shoveled we're going to be doing some tarot pretty soon but we're going to start it off with some um with some oracle cards so this is going to be an oracle card from the vintage wisdom oracle deck this has been pre-shuffled as well oh you know what i feel like that card shows us intention all right, and nobody really wants to hear from the book for very long, but I do want to read just a little tiny bit because these cards are really quite packed with um, with meaning, even though it's just one word. So I'll hold this up so you can see it. It's beautiful cards. Let's get that out of the glare. So um, water has the capacity to shape shift form into liquid, vapor, or solid, depending on which atmospheric conditions are present. Just as the atmosphere shapes the form of water, so too the power of intention activates and shapes your reality. Indeed, all creation is driven by the power of intention. Drawing this card prompts you to contemplate your aims and intentions. Be clear that they accurately reflect your feelings, thoughts, and spiritual aspirations, and think deeply as to whether they are honorable and worthwhile. Right, I love that. Your intentions. What are your intentions? Now for the romance angel stack for my Aries. What you got for us? What message for Aries and their relationship with their person? What information do you have for Aries with their relationship with their person? Please make it clear, spirit. What information do you have for Aries and their person? We got two. Let's take them both. Romantic feel, oh, we got three, you guys. Jeez. <laughs> Romantic feelings. Your feelings are re real and worth exploring. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I know you just pricked up your ears. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It feels like um, discernment. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like don't try to block something out. What are your, I love this intentions card. Like, what are your deepest intentions in this relationship? And it doesn't mean you need to blind yourself to the things that are making you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. But um, making the effort instead to go towards them, you know, not to deny your own romantic feelings, and not to deny also the duality of the situation that you might be getting some red flags. So does that make sense? We're gonna keep this up here. And because I'm kind of a perfectionist, I'm gonna kind of balance them out a little bit. <laughs> so they're pretty. I know you guys, I know. All right, so one last shuffle for good measure. Tell me a little bit about the Aries that we're speaking to. Which Aries? Are we speaking to inside the relationships? Which ones need the message today? Please, we're make it clear. All right. We have Knight of Rods, fiery energy. This is, uh, okay. Not surprising me. Flipping in the deck. Just a kind of a footnote to keep in mind. We're not going to take it for the reading unless it flies out, but Page of Cups. So that is that creative romantic place. Um, what else about our Aries? All right. This is looking good. What about our Aries and their relationship? What can you tell us? Wow, you are keeping in mind the big picture. You've got Nine of Cups here, you've got Ten of Pentacles, and you've got the Knight of Rods, which is extremely um, confident, moving forward, a lot of fire, um, and they're kind of a faster night. So it's like you're swiftly moving towards um, actions and in this relationship that are looking towards the big picture like you really are investing um anything else about the areas that we're talking about okay and now we have a little conflict we have something that you're needing to be right in sometimes at all costs there's a cost to being right 
and we've got the five of swords uh, feel free to look that one up but it's like we've got this there's a lot of fire under your pants and with a lot of fire you know things happen quickly and you have this slower energy of the bigger outlook the 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 long-term outlook and then we've got in the immediate uh, future like the present moment we have all this fast moving energy like it's it's there's a conflict there right not a conflict there's a tug of war so your energy is moving really fast currently i don't know if you're in an argument or if you yeah <laughs> you want to be right about something but the victory card this is all very good though like i would say this is very good but there's a contrasting energy here it doesn't surprise me that you got these romantic cards you know there's this like ah oh, romantic feelings and making the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and keep in mind your intention and then we've got kind of the tug of war of pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so it's like slow down a little bit i want to know about your partner so please tell me about aquarian excuse me aries partner aries partner please give us some insight about them this is somebody who's a little bit more <laughs> they might be a water sign queen of cups is a passionate compassionate more sensitive possibly creative energy they're very nurturing but usually with these signs it's very important aries to <laughs> to recognize their nurturing areas sometimes they're very headstrong they make great business people by the way i mean just really great like investors and lawyers and because they have that forward movement energy which you are very much displaying here um even in your arguments you're like look it up i'm right look it up i don't <laughs> like but this is a queen of cups is a little bit more sensitive they're coming from their heart whereas you're coming from your head kind of you know queen of cups what else about their partner aries partner what do we need to know about aries partner in this message give us their perspective give us a little bit about them uh-huh Poss possibly some confusion overwhelmed trying to balance things this could sometimes mean that they're very busy too let's get a little bit more Aries partner thank you uh-huh a little bit more Aries partner what do we need to know about Aries partner and one more Aries partner okay or two more I think that they are a little disappointed in your reaction of something I think that they are, um, they're kind of confused, kind of overwhelmed. They're kind of, they're kind of just disappointed, you guys. And they, <laughs> I feel like the Aries energy is like, yeah, we'll kind of get over it. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're kind of closing up a little bit. And so that's that sensitive side of them. They're keeping themselves protected. If this is a Cancer or a Pisces um, or a Scorpio, it doesn't feel so much like Scorpio energy because Scorpios have a tendency to turn around and sting <laughs> when they're in this situation. Whereas Pisces and Cancer have a, a way of swimming away or closing up under the, in their shell. But you know, if this is not a water sign, it's just that it's a sensitive, compassionate person, more sensitive and compassionate that they sometimes feel um, comfortable showing people. And so they're kind of closing up, they're kind of getting quiet, they're retreating, and that's the way that they're responding to this forward, intense energy if you guys are having a little bit um, of conflict about who's right and wrong about something or, um, yeah for some reason something is making them a little feel, feel a little disappointment and close up a little bit um they i'd like to get a little bit more on this three of cups from them real quick um and i'm gonna do that with this deck aries this has been pre-shuffled one more for good measure why are we getting the three of cups here for the, the partner the person aries person why three of cups aries person queen of cups we've got cups we've got queen of cups queen of cups king of cups they might have another person in their life whether it's a mother or a sister or it doesn't have to be a female um or a friend that they're reaching out to rather than turning to you 
they are um, feeling a little more comfortable around other sensitive types like themselves with the king of cups the queen of cups here so and that's um in clear clarity to the card the three of cups so they're very much in their heart space they're very much retreated into that sensitive place and that means they're they're friends that are sensitive as well so the question is, this kind of goes back to your Oracle card is intention. Do you, with, with your actions and with your words, is that what you want? You know, and so how do we, um, if those are not the results you want, because this is a person who's different than you, this person, sometimes you might get frustrated with because you kind of, you kind of got that, like move forward, get over it. Come on. Don't take it so seriously energy. Um, and that's who you are and they have to understand and accept that about you. Right? So it's just like, what are your intentions? If these are not the results that you want, then maybe we do something different. Let's get a little bit of an idea, uh, about, uh, this present situation between you guys. All right. Okay. Present situation for Aries and this individual. Uh huh. Aries energy with the Emperor. Flipping the deck is the the stuck card of the Eight of Swords. Aries and this person. That one was like me too. Don't forget about me. Okay. All right, so presently it's kind of like, I feel like somebody might have stormed out of the room or something, um, but three of, so let me get one more about this situation between. I feel like somebody's like, this might be you getting advice from other people or hanging out with friends or something like that, but um. I feel like there's been some frustration here and somebody just wants to make a move to move it forward. Um, I don't feel like you guys are being seen as individuals, you know, like quite lining up with like, I see you and no, I see you and I celebrate you for how unique and special and what a f snowflake you are, you know. <laughs> um, it feels like somebody, um, either you or this, your person said something and was like, I'm going out to hang out with my people. See you later. You know what I mean? With the Knight of Swords, this is swift communication, sometimes impulsive communication. Um, and sometimes it's a result of overthinking, but coming out with, uh, they came out side by side together with the another three of cups. This is somebody who has said something and then like went to get advice or solace from uh, other individuals in their world. Um, this could be a mother, even with the queen of pentacles, this could be your mom. Um, and maybe not, you know, but the queen of pentacles is showing up for some reason. This is a nurturing energy, but somebody who makes money, brings home the bacon, works hard, uh, and nurtures by way of, of providing. But, um, yeah, so I just want to get some information on kind of your roots, um, your foundation of this relationship so that we can fill out the picture and, um, get a little bit of a direction here. It's like, there's really a lot of, there's a lot of care you guys have, you know, for one another. Foundation of this relationship between Aries and their person. Foundation of this relationship between Aries and their person. The balance, justice card, what's right and wrong. There's a sense probably, you guys probably see eye to eye, or at least you started out seeing eye to eye on some really fundamental things. Like, you know, it was a good foundation for a relationship just because you guys, you kind of like hit all the targets, maybe in your first dates. It's like, there was a little bit of a sense of no messing around of like, well, where are you at with this? And where are you at with this? Um, your politics, your religion, whatever, you know? And you guys were pretty um, balanced that way. Sometimes justice card comes out with a contract or something, you know, or the judicial system. But in this case, it really does feel like you guys were in agreement to some fundamental ethical, moral, blah, blah, blah things. Um, okay. Let's, uh -huh. more King of Cups for the Four of Pentacles. Please make it clear, Spirit. Fundamental foundation. Are we getting some doubles here? Nine of Cups. 
person. Then there's a little bit of, um, okay, two of moon. Okay, two of moon. Okay, <laughs> just, just, just. Um, so, yeah, you guys started out, like, with the brainy stuff, the heady stuff, um, like, really agreeing on some of that fundamental stuff. But where there was some contrast was there's... Um, your partner, I believe. I feel like it's more your partner than you. Uh, with the King of Cups coming out here, they kind of, um, they hold back and reserve their energy. They kind of want to be comfortable. They kind of, they, they want to be more comfortable. It's really important for them to feel safe, emotionally safe and comfortable. Um, there's been a little bit of um, indecision, like some fears creeping up, the sense of uh, somebody not being able to make a decision because of what's hidden, really, like maybe some subconscious stuff or even, you know, stuff that they they need more information. One of you, like in order to move forward, like just needing more trust, basically. Um, and then moving forward, let's get an idea of both of you guys moving forward. Aries and their person, hangman energy, page, Aries and a person, their person. Flipping the deck, three pentacles. Aries and their person. Okay, so we have the hanged man. We have the four swords. Okay. Okay, you know what? This is interesting. This was like really cool. You, you <laughs> slower energy than you like. This is things have slowed down be, between you guys. It's like you guys are ready for a fresh new communication coming through in order to kind of get better at being together, at better at knowing each other. There's stuff that you still have to learn about one another and even yourselves inside this relationship, but it's going to require a little sacrifice. And some of that sacrifice is per, to, in order to gain perspective is going to be patience. Like it's just going to go a little slower and please, it's hard sometimes, but going inward and being introspective, giving yourself some time to consider things, consider their perspective, consider yours, to think before you speak, you know, and I say that with all respect because something that Aries are so great at is swift movement and action forward, but this is going to be the opposite and it's around communication. I cannot stress this, that enough. This is all around being willing and open to learning new communication skills and learning new things about your partner and respecting that they're, how they're different and you are going to find something really interesting, Aries, and I, I promise you this they're really sensitive. They're sensitive and they're, they're socially and emotionally sensitive to the degree that if you start, you're going to blow them away. If you slow down and you make space for them to communicate or to be their emotional selves, there's going to be a transformation. There's going to be um, an opening. There's going to be movement forward and there's going to be a little more trust and there's going to be a little bit you know because i think also you're recognizing that you're like can i hang can i hang with this person they're wired a little differently than me you know um yeah and the truth is we get into these relation types of relationships because there's something for us to grow and learn from you know nothing's in vain um can i get some any more uh information about this this message, this new communication coming through, is it new communication? Is it an epiphany? You know, tell me a little bit more about this for Aries and their partner. Okay. Aries and their partner. Two of Wands. Somebody, okay, let me just, before I launch off, let me get some more information. Yeah, this is, this is, Somebody wants to be recognized and seen. Somebody really, really wants, like this is about, again, uh, that reciprocity. Um, you know, seeing what they have um, to, to give in the relationship and being like that being recognized as well. And this energy is more cautious. 
Um, this is a message and information, fresh communication that needs to come through. It's going to, um, this is beautiful because it's going to um, balance the scales between you, but it's going to come out a little slowly, more cautiously. We're getting pentacles all of a sudden, if you notice, right? Like here we have all swords, that's communication and the way that you communicate. Um, pentacles, and my fingers are tingling here. Going forward, both of you guys need to be recognized. Your value needs to be seen. So pentacles in a love relationship is about self-worth, about value. And um, that's what's going on here, you guys. Even though you have you have this fa fundamental agreement on um, a lot of things in your relationship, the way you operate day to day is, is different. And it's, you know, the little communications have been slipping through the cracks a little. So that's okay. It's just important to kind of slow down and reconsider the way you might communicate and reconsider how that might make that person feel. Vice versa, right? Because you need to be seen as well. You are, you're not in this uh, as a fling, you you are thinking long game. You know, you you could see being with this person in the future long game, and so it comes back to intention, right? What your intention is, and so if you really have this intention of the king, of the ten of pentacles, excuse me, it's right here. You know, long life, long you know, legit, um, long life, and with this person, and commitment, and longevity, and you know, making a future and a secure future, financially secure future, planning together, all those things. That's If that's your intention, then is being right so important, right? Is being right more important than actually recognizing this individual and actually working towards communication that allows them to appreciate and recognize you, okay? So I hope that's clear. I love you guys. Please like, please subscribe. It makes a huge difference. And I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.